Welcome to the Sophie Blues, your source for all things Everton, and welcome to Friday's Everton 24-7 report, and it's going to be a big one tonight. And that, obviously, that reason is John Philippe Baman has become Everton's fourth summer signing, arriving from FC Mainz on a five-year deal for a rumoured fee of around £25 to £27 million. Pounds. The rumours have been gathering pace all day, and with the news that he passed his medical this afternoon, it seemed like only a matter of time before we confirm this one. Bauman is clearly a swift arrival to replace the departing Idrissa Garner Gay. Big shoes to fill, but with that in mind, do you think Bauman is the right man to fill those shoes? No doubt it's going to be a good example of what we can expect to see more of from Marcel Brands with his transfer policy as director of football here, replacing an impressive player in his latter stages of his prime with a young prospect or a player earlier on in his prime who we can expect a better resale value from. Of course, we are all excited about this one, but be sure to let us know exactly what you're thinking. What will Baman bring to the team this season? So be sure to drop us a comment and whatnot. And of course, we're going to move on to the other signing who we may have to wait a little longer for. And that is, of course, Moise Keane or Moza Ken, as I should pronounce correctly. Well, Ken is set to have his own medical with us tomorrow. And hopefully we can expect to see him confirmed as an Everton player either tomorrow night, if not Sunday. No doubt another player there to get excited about. Between the two of them, hopefully that's just the start of it. And we're starting to get a bit more pumped now, hopefully ahead of the kickoff for the new season, which is, of course, a week tomorrow. Let's get on to the rest of Everton's transfer news of the day. And today, Nathan Broadhead, of course, who's featured prominently in pre-season, signed a new contract extension, but then completed the move on loan to Bayern Albion for the rest of the season. Broadhead has to some extent impressed in that pre-season campaign, despite us not doing too well. But this move will be a good indicator now to see where his future may lie, be it at Everton or elsewhere. So best of luck to Nathan Broadhead at Burton Albion. One more rumour of the day, and another who as of yesterday was Jean-Philippe Baman's teammate. 18-year-old Mainz player Erken Ayabiel was a player we'd never heard of this time last week. But of course he did score last week against Everton as Mainz beat us in the Opel Cup. And as we did with Nikola Vlasic two years ago following our Europa League game against Hajduk Split. Could we be set to sign another young player based on their impressive performances at our expense? Well, Abiel shone for Mainz as reserves last year with 17 goals in 23 games. And he has been dubbed the new Erzl. Not like a German-born Turk to be compared to Erzl in any way now, is it? But that is the case. Who knows, he might be one for the under-23s if we were to sign him. But I'll be quite honest, it's not one that I can see happening just now. Given it's in the midst of all these big expected arrivals and there should be a few more of those to come. Fingers crossed. Just a moment now to take in today's one negative. At least as far as I'm concerned. And of course I've been peddling Malcolm all summer. But he was confirmed today as a Zenit St. Petersburg player. Unfortunately, that means Malcolm at Everton is not to be for this second year running. But hats off to Zenit as they did a fair bit later on in the day to cheer us up. And by that I mean they played their part in Everton fans' big Twitter campaign which has been trending on Twitter all afternoon. Which is of course the Free Zoomer campaign. Which has seen the hashtag spammed all over many leading Twitter accounts. Many by yours truly to be quite honest with you. But it's seen the hashtag all over the place including fast food outlets such as McDonald's and KFC. Twitter, Twitter personalities such as Michael Rosen and a big up for the campaign from Zenit St. Petersburg's English speaking Twitter account. Possibly an attempt there to soften the Malcolm blow. But if you haven't got involved yet be sure to get tweeting the hashtag FreeZoomer on Twitter. And let's keep it trending and hopefully we will see Big Kurt return to his rightful home. Well, that is it for a very busy day of Everton news, but be sure to let us know what your opinions are on all of today's news, particularly the Jean-Philippe Baman signing. Let, be sure to like and subscribe, of course, and thank you again for watching on the Toffee Blues. Free Zoomer.